what I what I recall from when I was minister, the minister of health and the prime minister really and truly don't get in, involved in 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 applying or looking for vaccines. It's usually done through the chief medical officer's office, and the chief medical officer usually is the one who dictates the pace and sends it on to the to the minister of health with a positive response of what is happening and then the minister of health takes it to cabinet and informs the prime minister so when you think that you're, go, you're you're looking at the prime minister for and the minister of health they have to be the ones who are proactive in dealing with the policies that in such like make sure we have vaccines available we must get vaccines available and how to but the chief medical officer and those people in the ministry are the ones who do these sort of of uh, procurement and look for vaccines, look, talk to PAHO, talk to the, com the, the compatriots in PAHO, and also try their best to move forward using the permanent secretary to link with the Ministry of Finance as well as the Ministry of um, Foreign Affairs to talk to the high commissioners of the various countries. So it's a, it's a sort of a roundabout method. You can't just pick up a phone and tell a high commissioner, I want vaccine, bring it. If you didn't have COVAX, as you say, um, if they didn't depend on COVAX and COVAX wasn't the one who was uh, arranging the vaccines, it's quite possible that we would not have been getting vaccines at a reasonable rate and price. PAHO and COVAX and World Health Organization, they work hand in hand through something called the Global Fund. And they are the ones who are able to, as a bulk, with, together with the African countries the, and the smaller countries, as you say, putting large orders for vaccines. If you go single-handedly for vaccines, you will find that you are just a small player and the vaccine manufacturers won't find it, as I say, lucrative enough to give you that. To, so you have to go as a bulk buy you know, in this thing. When you look at the whole thing, the vaccine manufacturers are there to make a dollar and to make profits. And they will do what they have to do to make the most amount of profits. They're not there as a benevolent um, vaccine maker to just do vaccines and hand it out to poor countries. You have to show that you can afford what they want and what they're doing. And at the same time, you have to be able to pay for it. So if you go as a bulk buyer to WHO, PAHO and COVAX, you're going to get a better response because you're buying a, you're buying a load. Exactly. And India is producing vaccines, the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine, by the Serum Institute of India. And they are sending vaccine to smaller countries to sort of capture their market. Because they are, on, they are aware that the smaller, the smaller countries are having a hard time purchasing the vaccines. Now, the, number, the vaccine on the market with the one dose is Johnson & Johnson. Everybody will want that because it's a one dose and an 85 to 95 percent efficacy. So people may, may line up to Johnson & Johnson to get vaccines because there's only one dose. So, so the other vaccine manufacturers are at a disadvantage because there are two doses and more expensive when you add the two doses together. So you're going to get a lot of vaccine sort of marketing right now because at the end of the day, it's not about whether I love you or not. It's a matter of dollars and cents. What I would have done if I was Minister of Health, Paul, I would have opened up the market and let the private suppliers go and search for vaccines and then tell the Food and Drugs Department of Trinidad and Tobago, stop holding back private sector and also register whatever vaccines are available that they do get. And in doing so, you will get the people of Trinidad and Tobago vaccinated faster. As it stands, the Ministry of Health and the Food and Drugs Department are the ones only allowing the government to purchase vaccines and register in as an emergency for the government. So they have tied up the private sector in such a way that the private sector cannot go and look for vaccines. They have to wait until the government gives them the approval to the F Food and Drugs Division. And the Food and Drugs Division, as we all know, is a very, very slow decision-making um, part of the Ministry of Health. If you open it up for the competition, I'm guaranteeing you the private sector will be able to go up to the United States, go up and deal with different vaccination areas and bring vaccines down. And but that is not happening. It's just the government. The government wants to make sure that they are the ones bringing the vaccine down. And if they they don't, they don't want private sector involvement right now because they feel the private sector going to dig out people eye. And some people will pay whatever it is to get the people vaccinated if they have to travel.
And if the Prime Minister expects 700,000 people to be vaccinated before he opens the borders, he might as well open up the vaccine procurement for private sector to go and look for their own vaccine and vaccinate people.